Hello everybody, this is Nia Fire and I'm here with the weekly astrological message. In the midst of COVID-19, so yeah, I've been feeling it for a week, lost all my taste and smell uh, ability, and I actually went to do a check yesterday and I'm waiting for the results. But I'm feeling quite all right, you know, I, I, was, um, I managed to get immune once, and then before the second time you get, to, you get immune, I got it. So I wasn't fully uh, covered, you know, and I got it. But I, I think I got much easier because I, I had the first uh, immune response already um, two weeks prior because of the vaccination. But I'm here and I'm doing this video and I'm telling you about all about the energy in the skies, the celestial soup we're all swimming in that affects us all all zodiac signs so if we want to understand the sky's energy we have to understand that we have a stellium and air in the sign of Aquarius right now this heightens our cerebral energy and it targets our nervous system so all of these are overly active at this time there's a feeling that everything has a very fast changing pace that everything is very unstable and is moving forward into the unknown at a velocity that we cannot keep up with this in turn can cause that stress that feeling of stress and uh, impact on our, our nervous system and cerebral system what is good now is to ground yourself ground yourself and enjoy yourself let your body teach you how to do it through your senses. Um, all this Aquarian energy can cause us to lose touch with our senses and our bodies. Not to notice that we are perched, dehydrated, that we're very, very thirsty or hungry, you know, or forget to feel and be overly active in our brains. So through the senses, we could actually let ourselves come down and also through other people and being more social. And what a wonderful chance it is, no chance at all, that Mercury in the sky right now is conjunct Venus and conjunct Jupiter. Mercury, the planet of communication, of being social, of being interactive with the community around us and actually conversing and growing together, networking together. And of course, Mercury has to do also with Virgo. So it's about healing, not only our self-healing, but the healing of our communities as well. And Venus, the planet of relationships, love and satisfaction. You know, the relationship I have with myself, my own body and value, you know, and with the physical thing, Taurus. Don't forget that's part of Venus as well. So these two are conjoined with the great benefactor Jupiter that expands everything and blesses it. So th truly, you know, a few days ahead of us that it's great being social. Of course, be careful about your health. I wasn't careful enough and uh, the stores can't taste anything or smell anything right now. So um, don't do as I did. And... Um, and do take care of yourself, but do enjoy, you know, be social, eat, drink, love. This is an amazing time to do that in the midst of this cerebral uh, cyber attack that we're in at the moment. Planets are going to progress from next week onwards into Pisces and things are going to mellow down drastically. But until then, you know, give yourself some pleasure. And this is an amazing time for epiphanies. It's an amazing time to write and schedule things and you know, um, plan ahead. This is a time that great ideas could come through, that great understandings could come through. So don't belittle it, you know. This could really contribute to all of our lives. You know, it's, it's a win-win situation for you and everybody around you. Um, so that's Saturday and Sunday. And then Sunday we have Mars, the planet of male energy and action and desires, um, sextiling Neptune, the planet that talks about the other side, eternity, 
God goddess creation and our eternal connection to that universal womb. So when this sex style appears in the sky, this is a time that our actions and desires can become much more romantic, can become much more inspiring. We could utilize our imagination and harness the muses to create beautiful creations in this physical plane and our actions forward could you know be more gentle in a sense we do have to be careful not to be too idealistic and 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 naive in the way we see things and this is something that's going to stay with us at least until the end of the week and we we would feel it um the 15th is a bit of a sensitive day since the moon is conjunct chiron so be very sensitive with yours and the feelings of the people closest to you but on other matters you know and more social matters uh, this is a wonderful day for career matters or even money matters as the moon sextiles saturn and mercury and jupiter and venus and tuesday the 16th from noontime onwards becomes much more dramatic and obsessive. This is a great time to um, center yourselves and not let everything throw you off from your center. Um, Wednesday, the 17th, exact square between Saturn and Uranus. The second one of three, if I'm not mistaken, through three, uh, 2021 really giving it this flair you know the giving the year this flair of a combat or a struggle for the upgrade of the relationships that one has with governance and the governing system you know the system of law and rules and um this is often a time historically that we see great social protests that the demand for an upgrade in the system is immediate the need to go forward in both the social, educational and economical means and of course political means is very very clear and we see more protests and people going out to the street and a very active civil society trying to change um, a, an authoritarian, oops I'm sorry, an authoritarian uh, um, system of law and governance and you know what, often time the rebellion is crushed historically. This is the same cycle that we've seen in back in 2010 with the Occupy Wall Street, Arab Spring, um, you know, uh, social revolutions around the world. That was the opposition between Uranus and Saturn, and now we are in the closing square. So it is always a time that brings financial instability as well. And radicalization of ideas, of beliefs, so we could see God, God is forbid, more terror attacks or things like that. Um, however, in our personal lives, this is a time to test what needs to go and change and transmute and how we do need to walk forwards and what is there to, you know, keep some stability in our lives. What is a structure that we do need to hold fast to? That this, you know, that it's 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 a balance that needs to happen, a renewed balance in a sense, between structure and stability in our own personal lives and walking forward in innovation. Thursday, the eighteenth, packed day in the sky. Uh, be careful not to be, you know, um, untactful or indiscreet. And not to exaggerate during that day. Uh, Friday the 19th, Venus square Mars. Um, we're going to feel it for the few days before and after. This is a time that on the one hand can really turn us on. Sexually, emotionally, sensually. And, and you know, cause us to be a bit naughtier and, you know... Um, feistier but this is also a time that we can become much more childish and impulsive and Venus is in charge both of how we earn money and value and our relationships 
So this time could be challenging for both our relationships and the way we earn money, AI, our jobs. So we have to be careful not to create separations, unneeded separations or fights or arguments in these areas as well. Saturday the 20th, beautiful in the sky. Go outside, travel, enjoy, have fun. Sunday the 21st starts as a bit lethargical, forgetful and tired. But really as the day progresses it becomes much more satisfactory and enjoyable and it's even a good day for money and love by the end of it. So, you know, enjoy. I just want to remind you all, there's still 30% off on all classes and readings with me. Special COVID offer that isn't going to last very much longer. Goddess uh, permit and um, so utilize it all my details are at the slide at the end I know that some of you have written mails and I've yet to answer them I was sick I'm sorry I'm going to very soon um, so may we all live long healthily <laughs> you know may I may I be full of health again soon and prosper this is Nia Fire saying goodbye Take care.